If you haven't guessed where we are, today Property Lane Brothers is not bringing you to a typical kind of home tour. We have an industrial property that has a massive size of over 73,000 square feet. Yes, and that is basically the size of 15 and a half basketball court. And this particular unit is asking at nine and a half million dollars negotiable. And before you kind of raise your eyebrows about this pricing itself, why not we talk a little bit about the context so that we can make sense of this number as we tour along this property. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so right now as you're heading up to the unit itself, why don't we share a little bit more with you about the context about this location. Now, Kintec Crescent is basically situated right between Pioneer MRT as well as Jukun MRT. And where we are right now is basically in the heart of a major transformation under the URA master plan. Singapore has already identified four key areas as the gateway to strengthen the economy. And we are basically in one of them which is also known as the Western Economic Gateway. So if you are to zoom into the Western Economy Gateway, there are a few key exciting factors that are going to take place over the next few years. Now firstly, it will be the Jurong Lake District. Jurong Lake District will be the next largest business district out of the CBD area and that is basically on a land size of 360 hectares, which will then connect us to the next location which is also known as the Jurong Innovation District. Now the Jurong Innovation District, which is also known as the JID, is the next generation of industrial area that is going to connect with the manufacturers as well as the research institute as well as technology providers. And between the Jurong Lake District as well as the Innovation District, they will both have seamless connection by means of the Jurong Region Line which will be ready in 2028. And come 2035, the connection will then be further enhanced by the Cross Island Line. And lastly, one of the most exciting transformations that's going to take place over here will be in 2027 because that will be the year when the leases ends for the Tanjung Paga, Brani as well as the Keppel Terminal. And these three terminals will basically converge into one location at the Tuas area and the Tuas port will then be the world's largest fully automated port. So what all these major transformation means to you as a business owner is that if you were to position your businesses right here in the Kintec area, you might then get to ride along the transformation that's going to take place over the next few years, leverage on the connectivity as well as the ecosystem right here in the Western Economic Gateway. So I think we have already shared with you a couple of minutes about the master plan as well as the transformation over here. It is time to go and check out the rest of the property. Let's go. Alright, so right now we are standing in the factory production space and the entire floor area is over 32,000 square feet in size and basically this area is divided into two locations that is separated by this corrugated plate over here. Now this land area is a JTC land meaning to say it is also SCDF approved so if you are a business owner, if you have to buy over this place, you can almost kickstart your business immediately. Now the entire space have a total of four cranes, a three ten ton gantry crane as well as a one five ton gantry crane. And if you have to look around the entire floor space, you have the fire extinguisher, the hose reel, exhaust fan, lightings, they are all installed right here. I think in terms of space utilization, if you have to take a look just at the crane itself, it is great because the crane is utilizing the rail link that is situated right above. Uh, comparing to other type of gantry crane that have the rail on the flooring itself, if that is the kind of configuration that we are talking about, there will be safety hazards and your floor area will then be further diminished. So the beauty about having the gantry crane with the rail at the top will give you the flexibility of removing this corrugated plate to suit your businesses. If let's say you have huge items that you need to move between the two floor areas, you can easily remove the corrugated plate up to your own business needs and the pillar is essentially right over here. You do not need to do much um, changes to it. Minimal modification is then required to kickstart your businesses. Now for the entrance, you have a huge 9 by 7 meters of space and uh, I think the entire frontage area and the depth is great enough for a 20 footer, 30 footer or even a 40 footer truck is able to come in here and then leverage on the crane to do all the offloading and then you know carry on with your entire production line. 
So I think essentially in this space that we are at right now, we do not just have the factory space, but then right beside us, we have the office space. So I think this entire area is great for businesses because you don't have to then look for two separate locations where you have your operation as well as your administrative support. So this is kind of a two-in-one combination because straight around the Kente area, you will have either a factory space that is too small for office space or you're having an office space that is big, but then it kind of reduces the factory size that is essential for your businesses. So I think having this huge industrial space is great because you can essentially then integrate your operation side of business as well as your administrative together all in one. Right, so we are in the office space itself where we are adjacent to the factory space and we are also located just adjacent to the road where you have side gate access uh, which will then lead you to the bus stops that brings you straight to the MRT station. Adrian is going to join us on the tour to bring you the rest of the entire office. So let's go. Now that you've seen the production area, I'm going to show you the office wing over here. This is a two-storey, fully renovated office with two-storey and it comes with a built-in area of about six to 7,000 square feet. On level one, you have your foyer, reception and two bathrooms. One is for the gents and one is for the ladies. And over at this side here, you have a pantry area that can fit up to 20 packs. Uh, that's very generous uh, for you to host your counterparts and also for your contractors if they are coming by to send some deliveries. You have a meeting room. Uh, it's a great space if you do not wish to interrupt your main office uh, activity on level 2. Alright, so here we are on the upper level. This space here is a main business office space that can fit up to 5,000 square feet of good size area. There's two good size of conference room for you to host your meeting and before that there is nice cabinetries for you to place in your files and also if you have trophies, companies, uh, plugs, you can place it over here. This is the first meeting room. This can easily host up to 12 packs. It comes with glass door and it comes with biometric fingerprint locks. So take a look at this one. Wow! It can host up to 20 to 25 packs for your meeting. It comes fitted with a projection screen as well. So if you probably need to host a full-scale company meetings, this is a good size meeting room to cater for your needs. Right behind me, over here, this is a nice open plan sitting area. This could easily host up to 30 packs of work cubicle space. Currently, it's of 23. If you need more space, you can cater up to 30 depending on your business needs. Over here at this side here, you have a gents and a ladies to serve the needs of your staff in this level. I like the fact that this office is brightly lit because of the see-through glass uh, which allows natural light to come right into this whole office space which gives you a very good feel while you're working. There is seven huge manager rooms that comes with security system and also a huge director room just right at the corner. As we walk, there is sufficient cabinetries for you to place in your stationaries, your files, company procurement and so on. There is CCTV also installed on this whole entire level. You also have a proper server room that's right at the back. And of course, not forgetting, because this is a good space, there is an additional exit door over here. So now we have seen the whole entire office space, and now let's head down to level 1, where George will be waiting for us. Let's go. Right, so the next question that you have in mind is whether to purchase this at 9.5 billion or will it be better off renting? So maybe just break down the numbers a little bit. If you were to purchase this at 9.5 million and assuming it is at 2.5% interest rate, at 20 years tenure at 80% loan to value, the monthly mortgage that we are looking at will be a little over $40,000 over because this is a JTC land, we also have to pay a land rent of $9,800 over dollars as well as the property tax which stands at around $5,400 a month. So in totality, I think a monthly outlay is at $55,400 over dollars. Now, if you have to take a look at what are your options around here, monthly rental of $55,400, which works out to be around $0.75 cents per square foot. Now, if you have to look at the options of rental in and around this area, what can you get with around fifty over thousand dollars Basically, not a lot, but the choices of rental that you have within this area ranges from seventy over thousand dollars a month to hundred twenty over thousand dollars a month. That works out to be one dollar ten cents to one dollar and seventy nine cents per square feet. And those particular rental options that you have right now, some of them are having pillars, especially in the warehouse area and. I think having pillars in the warehouse area leaves you with very little room for 
configuration, whereas comparing to our kind of configuration, while you have pillars, but then you can easily remove the corrugated plate that we were standing right there just now, you can easily combine the two area to form up to your business needs. So I think in totality, if we are looking at just the Kintec area, I think a $9.5 million asking price against the backdrop of the huge master plan that's going to be developed in the next five to 10 years down the road, I think this is still a very, very good value because we still have a lease of 22 years. And I think with this long runway, it also means that your entire business can carry on without much disturbances and having a good space of a factory as well as a business office right over here. I think this is a fantastic place if you're a business owner looking to set up a businesses right here. All right, so George, what do you think of this factory? Right, so I think if you're a business owner that you want to kickstart your business immediately, having an industrial space as well as the office space integrated seamlessly into one and then against the pipeline of the exciting master plan that's going to be developed in the next few years to come, then I think you should seriously check out this place with us. Yes, if you think this factory is worth purchasing, do give our listing manager, Christina Tan, a call. I'm Adrian Lim, George Bay, Probably Brothers. Brothers. Always happy, happy to, to show you the place. place. Now that you've seen the production area, I'm going to bring you to the office wing. Yeah, well.